Hey YouTube, what's up? It is me, Camilla Aaron. I am making a video today on a topic that I think will be helpful for a lot of people who are considering transitioning or are um, beginning their journey and really don't know where to start with picking a new name. Um, I'm going to focus this video um, directed, I should say, towards male to female trans people. So it's based off my experience. And so it's easier for me just to talk about male to female experience. Um, anyhow, without further ado, I'm going to just dive right into this. So I'm going to use a few phrases and explain what they mean. Um, dead name, for instance, is the name you were born as. So if for me, I was born Aaron. Um, I legally changed my name to Camilla. I don't consider Aaron a dead name because I still use it. But for the purpose of this video, um, I'm going to use the word dead name. And that basically just means a trans person's birth name, not their preferred name. Um, a lot of trans people pick names that are very similar to their birth name. Like, for instance, if someone was born John, they may pick a name like Jeanette. Um, if your name was Carl, maybe the name Carla. That's very common and a lot of people like to keep their initials the same, but not all. And it's really ultimately up to the person and what name they fit, feel suits them best. Pardon me. Um, so for my experience, my name is Camilla. Um, I was born Aaron and I still use Aaron because um, it's an androgynous name and it also has an androgynous spelling. If I was named something like Michael or Carl, I wouldn't use uh, those names on my channel. Um, those are very masculine names, but because my middle, my, excuse me, my birth name, Aaron, um, is so androgynous that I still use it. Um, it's interchangeable with Camilla, but most trans people don't use their dead name. It, I'm kind of an exception, um, but there are others like me, but just in general, most trans people don't like to use their dead name. That's why we pick a new name when we start to live as the opposite gender from which we are born. Um, so anyhow, there's a lot of ways people can pick a name and there's no wrong way to do it. And sometimes you may go through multiple names before you arrive at the one that you're going to use for the rest of your life. It's going to be something that's going to stick with you. It's something that you'll probably legally change at some point. So it's really important to pick something that you like, something you want to be called, and something you're not going to get tired of. I don't recommend my personal recommendation. I don't recommend picking the name of a celebrity or picking a name. Um, basically, I don't, I don't recommend picking a name just because it's popular or because a famous person has it. I recommend picking a name because it feels right inside your heart. Now, if you like the name Taylor, just because with Taylor Swift, there's nothing wrong with naming yourself Taylor. It's just an example that most people um, find names that are a lot more personal than just uh, a famous person, like a celebrity's name. For me, my name Camilla actually goes all the way back to 1996. I was six years old um, and in first grade, my best friend was a girl named Camilla. She was a Cuban girl and we played on the playground um, and got along really well. I was very close with her. We did play dates and she was my first female friend. And as I got older and looked back on it, she had a lot of impact on me as a young child um, to express myself. We would play Barbies, we would play dress up. Um, I would have play dates with her and I got along with her even though I was a little boy and she was a little girl. She was my best friend for first grade. And that had a really big impact on my life. Um, I ultimately ended up taking the name Camilla from my first best friend. 
And that's how I arrived at my name. And I just want to let people know that there's nothing wrong with trying other names. Like if you pick one, you use it and it, you just get tired of it or it just doesn't feel right, you can always pick another. But it's important to come and arrive at a name that you're going to use for the rest of your life. You don't want to use a name for four years and then change it. And once you petition a court to legally change your name, you have to understand that that's going to be, that's set in stone. And it's going to be even harder to change it back than the initial change. So it's something that changing your name legally is a very big commitment. I always recommend picking something that helps you express yourself. And I, as I said, a lot of people like to keep their same initials. So if you know, if you were born John Doe and you want to pick out a female version for that name, um, you could name yourself Jasmine Doe or Jane Doe. These name, picking a name that's similar to your birth name, but a female version, that's very common. And most trans people do pick a name that either starts with the same letter or is the female version of their birth name. Not always, there's exceptions, but um, most people do. Um, another thing that I did before I changed my name was one thing I went to my parents and I asked, you know, had I been born a girl or when my mom, when I was in my mom's stomach before I was born, um, before they knew my gender, I'm sure my parents were brainstorming, storming baby names. And I asked my mom and dad, what would you have named me if I had been born a little girl? And my mom told me that she would have named me May, M-A-E. That was one of the names that they had considered was May. Um, I did not choose the name that my mom was going to use. I don't know if she had any issues with that, but it is an option and if you're you know, if you have a relationship with your parents, I suggest, you know, asking your parents, if you were born a girl, what would they have named you? That may help you. And that also would be good because your parents, it would be a name that your parents had considered before you were born. Getting your parents to call you by your preferred new name takes time. And it's something that some parents may never let go of. My parents still call me Aaron. Um, when it comes to birthday parties or Christmas uh, cards or birthday cards, they're always addressed to Camilla. But in daily conversation, my parents use Aaron. There's nothing wrong with trying new names, as I said. It's about picking something that works for you. And that's all there is to it. I suggest reaching out trying to your parents, ask them what they would have named you. That's just one suggestion. Another thing that you can do is look at names that are similar to your birth name, but the female version. Instead of William, Wilhelmina. It's kind of an ugly name, no offense to anyone named Wilhelmina, but that's an example. Um, and just things like that. There's, a, there's no wrong way to pick a new name. And there's nothing wrong with taking your time. Um, no one has to pick a new name right away. You don't have to, there's, there's no pressure. But it's something I just can't emphasize enough that you want to pick something that you're not going to regret 10, 15, 20 years later. You want to pick something that you really identify with. Something that's an extension of your personality. Even looking into the meanings of names. Um, for Camilla, for instance, Camilla is not a servant, but Camilla is a, is, means a helper. It was initially a helper in the church. Um, that was the historic, the history of the name Camilla and its meaning is a helper. Um, and I find that I help, I try to help my friends. I, try to help my parents the best of my ability. I always go out of my way to try to help people. And I thought that Camilla was a pretty name and it just, it worked well for me. Um, 
I will state that here are some of the names that I thought of but did not use. My first, uh, well, I'm not, they're not in any order, I should say, but I will name a few of them. Danielle was actually the first name that I considered, and I never used it, but Danielle, I thought, was such a pretty name. I thought, um, I would like to be called that. I think that I thought at the time that maybe that was the right name, and I, I think I had put on Facebook for 60 days, I used the name Danielle. I had a friend named Danielle, um, and growing up, I thought Danielle was a pretty name, and my friend had a big impact on my life, so I considered that name, but ultimately, I didn't choose that name. Another name I chose was Minako, M-I-N-A-K-O. Minako is a Japanese name. And that basically means love for everyone. In Japanese, mina means everyone, and ko is love. Mina ko, love of all people. It's a it's a name that shows affection and love. You're a loving person. Mina ko is a name of love. I thought it was beautiful, but I am not Japanese, and I did not ultimately. I decided not to pick a Japanese name. Camilla is a name that you see in, um, it's an English name, and it's also a Spanish name. So a lot of women from Spain and Cuba are named Camilla. Camilla is a very common name in Cuba, and because I have Cuban heritage, I thought that it would be a good name for myself as well. That's another reason that I chose Camilla. Anyhow, um, if you have any questions about names and you want to ask me a question, feel free to uh, ask in the comment section. I will reply. This is a very personal video and I'm going to make my best effort to reply to all comments. If you're asking me a question, I promise you I will reply. If you need any help or have any any ideas that you need help with, suggestions, anything of that sort, just reach out to me, comment, let me know. I'm here for you. Um, as I state in all my videos, I make these videos to create a safe learning space for everyone and I'm trying to explain trans topics for the masses and including non-trans people and trans people alike. Now, obviously, this video is more geared towards trans people who are probably in the beginning of their transition. If you've searched on YouTube, you know, how to pick a new name, transgender, this may pop up. And if you're watching this video from the YouTube search, I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, and if you have any comments in general, just go ahead and comment. Um, I appreciate it. It does help my algorithm. Also, um, like this video, it means a lot to me. It also helps my algorithm and it lets me know, you know, if everyone is receiving these videos with, well. And that's ultimately what I hope for is that these are received well and hopefully they can be helpful to someone. Um, my phone is ringing, so I have got to go. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.